So after compiling this now, if we run, it should see a print of a statement as well as our process getting created. Now, would you look at that? We actually verify this by using an amazing tool that I almost every single day use. This is called Process Hacker. And if we are searching for something like Notepad or if we search for the reported PID, there it is. And remember, we put it on below normal priority class and we can see that it is set that is. And if we get rid of this line, we can see that it's actually going to be set as a normal priority. Get rid of that, set it to zero and compile. Now it's running, okay. 32428 is our PID. It is set as normal. Look at that, we did it. If you just stuck out to the end of this video, which I know is going to be long, you can probably hear it in my voice. But what your homework will be now is to go out and try this. Number one, first of all, make a message box like this and make it interact with different type of encodings and different functions and white functions and the NZ ones, whatever, the extended ones. And then secondly, I want you to create a process and as an extracurricular, you can also try to open a process. It's already existing. I want you to try using an open process as well. That's going to be your homework. And thank you so much that you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video where we will deep dive into more concept. Thank you so much and I'll see you later.